After two and a half months of work, our tiny house is finally done and it's time to give you guys the final walkthrough. So I think I'll start off by talking about why we chose the floor plan we did. It's just my husband and I living in the container and there was a few things that were non-negotiable for us. By wanting a king size bed, that meant that the bed needed to be at the end of the container because it's the whole width of the container. I also knew I wanted a pass-through bathroom. Now that's not for everyone, but the reason we decided to do it is because you get to optimize that hallway and you get to make it actual square footage of the space. So we ended up with a really roomy bathroom. It's got pocket doors on both sides. So it does close up, it seals, but you do have to walk through the bathroom to get to the bedroom. So another factor that was really important to me to have in our tiny house was a real flushing toilet. So we're very lucky and we were able to tie into the existing septic that's already on the property for the main house. We had to trench it and run a pump, but that means that we ended up with a real flushing toilet. One of the space saving features that we were able to do in the bathroom is the Ikea God Morgan wall mounted vanity. It's super cool. It's an integrated sink countertop that drains straight out the back. And then the P-trap is in just a little narrow space along the back of the cabinet. So by doing that, both drawers are completely optimized for storage and fully functional. The majority of our cabinetry is Ikea. We did this for a few reasons. The biggest one being that it's so easy to customize what you want. So we were able to get a kitchen layout that was exactly what we wanted because they have so many options when you go to order online. It also allowed us to use their drawer organizers, which are intended for their cabinetry. That's really awesome because the organizers actually take up the entirety of the drawer and you end up with really, really optimized storage. We went with an induction two burner cooktop for the kitchen. We did this because it also can double as counter space when it's not being used because it's a flush mount. It also is plenty of cooking space for us. We mostly grill outside, which is why we ended up with such a large barbecue out on the deck. Another design choice of the floor plan was that I knew I wanted the couch along the back wall. By doing that, we were able to put the TV on a pivot right here and you can pivot the TV out and you can either have it in the kitchen or you can have it facing the couch. This gets you further away from the TV. I didn't want the couch on this wall looking at the TV on this wall because it just ended up too close. My husband and I decided to build a tiny house for a few reasons. We live on 10 acres in the main house. We actually Airbnb out on weekends. So normally we travel, uh, we had a van for a while, but we were ready to have something that was a little bigger, a little more permanent um, that we could store our belongings in. So because it's 10 acres, there was actually the perfect spot to put a small trailer, van, something like that. We were really attracted to the container house because we love working with metal. We have a metal fabrication business and we really just love the industrial aesthetic that they give. The layout of the windows was very intentional on this container. So this is our view. We've got um, a view of 100 acres and that's really what we wanted to highlight. So all of the windows that you can see out of are on this side of the container. 
but we still wanted that cross natural light. So by doing windows that are just high enough, you can't see out of, you don't see your neighbor's property, you don't see his shop, but you're still getting that natural light from both sides. Something else that was really important for us was external living space. We're in California and it's beautiful most of the year. So we decided to put a deck on the front with a dining table and the barbecue. We plan to spend a lot of our time out there. We already spend a lot of time outside. So that will primarily be when we have guests over and that kind of thing will be out on the deck. Hope you enjoyed this tiny house tour. Courtney did an awesome job showing us around. We'll link her Instagram in the description below if you want to follow her tiny living journey. And please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our next videos. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.